let's move from Russia, Ukraine now to the, uh, the Indian Ocean, Dr. Jaishankar, where, uh, you know, with the Red Sea, with the fallout of what's happened uh, between Israel and Gaza, uh, there's been a very positive spotlight on India and its role uh, in the Arabian Sea, in the Indian Ocean. We're also seeing, uh, you know, an elevated level of aggression from the Chinese, whether it is in Maldives, whether it is elsewhere, uh, as far as its own intentions, as far as the Indian Ocean are concerned. Can you tell us how India is navigating this? It's a complex, shape-shifting issue. Uh, can you tell us how the next government will handle this? This is a situation that is likely to become a bigger churn, sir. Well, look, uh, I think there are multiple things uh, which are happening in the Indian Ocean. Uh, one part of it, as you referred to, which is Red Sea, yeah. Gulf of Aden, etc. They, we are, uh, in fact, right now we have an ongoing situation with one of our ships, uh, uh, INS Calcutta. Uh, so uh, we are, you know, again, as a responsible country, uh, contributing our bit for maritime safety, security, uh, dealing with the, uh, you know, uh, prospect of drone and missile attacks on shipping, uh, countering piracy. And uh, this is important for people in our country to, to recognize and appreciate because the era when the global commons would be looked after by other people, that era is now behind us. So uh, countries like us have to be, have to weigh in more, be more active, uh, to use our forces uh, for, for common good uh, in a way and the Red Sea, Gulf of Aden uh, deployment. We have, I think, about 12 ships there. So if you look in terms of national commitment, we would be among the larger national presence, uh, uh, not the largest, but among the larger national presence out there. The second part of it uh, would be, uh, again, if you've seen the last 10 years, We've been very active as a first responder, uh, that when you have natural disasters, you know, it was the Yemen civil war, uh, it was uh, going back to 2015, a water crisis in Maldives, a landslide in Sri Lanka, a cyclone in Myanmar. Uh, so where, again, we now I contrast that, you know, with, say, uh, two decades ago, where, again, when we had the tsunami in 2004, Essentially, uh, apart from India, really much of the uh, succor and support came from outside uh, forces in a way. So we have to see, it could be a, a conflict kind of situation, it could be a natural disaster, but our responsibilities and our activities in the region have actually grown tremendously uh, in the last uh, decade. The other part of it is the strategic part of it, you know, which is the natural contestation between states, uh, the competition out there, countries, you know, maneuvering, out-maneuvering, countering, exerting influence, countering that influence. That is something which is, which is part of the competitive nature of world uh, politics. Now, uh, there will be ups and downs. Uh, that is also to be expected. Often. Uh, you know, political developments in one or the other country can, can uh, impact it. Uh, I mean, looking back, perhaps we should have been strategically much more aware than we were. Uh, so, uh, for example, you know, when Hamban Tota was first built, I don't think there was sufficient understanding in this country, we are talking 2008, 9, 10, you know, roughly that period, uh, about the, the uh, implications that it would have for a country like India. Uh, so uh, we are today very aware, uh, we are very active. Uh, uh, if you look, actually, you know, I'm giving you a kind of a bureaucratic uh, MEA speak uh, explanation. But you know, when we actually had a strategy called Sagar, the whole idea of Sagar is end-to-end -end look at the ocean as a consolidated space. It could be island states, it could be the oceans, it could be a regional effort. Uh, don't deal with it in bits and pieces and uh, be aware of your strategic interests and do what you have to do to, to safeguard it. So uh, these are all, look, uh, there's no end to it. I mean, uh, this is a permanent uh, in, uh, objective uh, of, of a country for whom an ocean space that is so proximate to it and where we have such a central spacing 
uh, we will have to be continuously and persistently active out there.